Tuesday, June 13th, 0724 AM, New York time. Trade ideas on the energy category using options. These are both bullish strategies. So if you're a contrarian and bullish the energy, you might consider one of these two trades or both. First, look at crude oil futures. The symbol is forward slash CL, forward slash Charlie Lima. Looking at three grids from the right is the weekly, the middle is the daily, and the far left is the four hour. Weekly current candles red, lower high, lower low than the prior week, broke below that inside candle. Let's open this up a little bit more. Look at this. Swing low, test it, demand zone. Swing low, test it, demand zone. Buyers are stepping in here. There's buyers liking this price down here. They're contrarians because the price has been declining. They're contrarians. What are you, bullish or bearish? Looking on the daily, current candle for the day, inside candle. Yesterday, it was a big sell-off. Maybe all that panic got shaken out. And buyers are stepping here. Yes, buyers are stepping in right now. We haven't taken out the low of yesterday yet. Buyers stepped in there and there. Want to see volume. Down here, 422,000 plus. Down here, 378,000 plus. So, this day had more volume than this one. Still big volume. Versus the upside here, 276,000 plus. Yep. Let's take it to the, in that volume alone, it's not the best gauge. No. On the four hour. Look at that. Each candle four hour, the current one would be done at 9 a.m. Yesterday's low, we got all panic selling. Now buyer stepped again. Somebody likes it here. Let's zoom out a little bit more. 30 days. Let's go look at the option chain. Using the stock ETF USO. Closed at $60.25. Look at current contract, nearest 45 days. Right there, we actually have one that's 45 days. That's a contract for July 28th. July 28th. Let's open it up. Look at the strikes. Pull a strategy. So you can outright buy a call option. You outright buy a call option. You need to be directionally right. The stock needs to go up and needs to go up fast to get some gains in that strike. Mm -hmm. I prefer to do the higher probability of success doing a credit spread. So this is a bullet credit spread. So I'll be doing it on the put side. Again, the underlining $60.25. I want to take lower risk. So I'll be going below that short strike. Let's look at the 59. And credit spread. You're selling one strike and buying the other one. So we'll do one strike wide. Selling the 59 at the bid, buying the 58 at the ask. Again, you're selling the one that's paying more, $220. You're buying the one that's paying less, 205 That gives you a credit, $40. Max loss, $60. Max profit, $40 if you stay in tax duration. And the strategy here is to have the underlying stock price stay above our short strike. Yep. That delta. 35. You want to have more capital, more premium to make. Well, let's widen it. Let's go all the way to 55. Yep. So now the increase of profit potential is $121. Putting $279 at risk. Let's take it down to 50. Just increase the premium to collect $195. And the max loss. Yep. So you notice here, strikes are $1 away, and then it jumps all the way from 55 down to 50. Yeah. That's the way it is sometimes for some of the options that have lower liquidity. 
again, still opportunities. If I want to take this lower risk and not use that short strike 59, be further away, further away from that underlining, let's take it to 58. Let's clear it out, make sure he's doing right. There is 58 shorting. And let's just do one, for example, and buy in 57. Yep. Max profit here, $28. Max risk, 72. Well, I'd rather take in more capital than $28 to minus commissions. Let's go a little bit wider. Again, collecting 58, max loss, 162. So we went from the 35 delta down to the 30 delta. Let's get you further away. Let's go down to the 22 delta. Okay. One strike wide, shorting the 56, buying 55. Short strike, 22 delta. Max profit, 23. And risk, 77. Again, I would like to collect a minimum of 30. Let's take this back up. There we go. Shorting the 57. Buying the 56. Max profit, 30. Max loss, 70. And, but I'll go actually wider because I'm going to use core capital. I'll show that in a minute. Then the market's closed right now. As we get closer to the open at 9.30 a.m., I may need to adjust this. So this premium may be more or less, depending on where we open. So again, I'll put a working order on. As I get closer to 9.30, around 9.10, 9.15, I'll put a working order on. But I'm going to adjust these different because I want to use more premium, or sorry, collect more premium, and do more contracts. Let's clear this out. Actually, let me, let me show you the USO chart. Well, the USO chart is going to be the same. We're going to go on to the next. But again, understand, you can't share into here. The overall trend has been down. The next one I want to look at is natural gas. The other energy. Look at that current candle open it up natural gas current candle inside candle huge demand zone down here been hovering mostly above that two dollars nice most of the year down here on these weekly candles <clears throat> let's take out a dilly there we go dilly current candle right now again the futures are open right now you see price activity it's green higher high higher low notice these Red candles, huge wicks, buyers have been stepping in them. Bull pins. Yeah, lower high. Swing points are top, lower highs, lower highs. Now we have the higher lows. You see from here, higher low, higher low, higher low. So the trend is going up here. Higher lows. Whereas we're not making new lows. Nope, higher lows. You see the overall momentum here is to the upside. Contrarian, are you bullish or bearish, sir? And the four hour chart. Yep. Look at these higher lows. Momentum has been going back up in commodity in the uh, energy category. Let's look at the stock ETF for energy of natural gas, UNG. Again, are you contrarian bullish? Then let's look at the bullish strategy. Close at $6.24, the nearest 45 days, right there. 28 July. Let's open up the option chain. Because I'm bullish, I prefer to have credit collect. So we'll look at the put side, selling a put. This be just one side, just shorting the put option. So again, close at 624. Let's look at the nearest, the nearest $6. So if I sell the six strike, and you're selling at the bid, collect 40 bucks, 40 bucks. So the max risk, $560, because you're already minus the 40, yep. So 100 shares times six, $600, that's the margin. And then the credit collect is 400, so minus that for the margin. So you're risking 560. 
I want to take a lower risk and collect less money. Let's take it down to five, collect 10 bucks. Really? Is that going to be enough to cover your commissions and everything? Well, if you load up and do large quantity and you're further away from the underlying lower risk, but collecting less money. Yeah. You still, what you have risking 490 and if stock goes down to that short strike, the risk is the stock being put to you. So then you would own the stock at $5 a share. Still keep the 10 bucks. Yep. Do you mind owning the stock? You know, you could do the call options against your own it. Just things to consider here. First doing a spread. Is it really worth it? No. There, let's take it up higher to the six. Remember, most brokers charge you commission for both legs. So again, doing more legs is going to cost you more. But again, your margin required 69, max profit 31. And there are complicated fills to get necessary to get close. You might have to change this. What I mean is when you're trading just one leg, one side, it's easy to get an order filled. But when there's more complex legs being added, there's more complex prices that have to be filled because you have to get both sides. So that price alone may not get filled at. No, you've been trading spreads for a while. You understand that again, they don't fill as quickly and there's more variables to get in. So that price adjustment may have to be moved down to 29 and depends how tight the spreads are. Yeah. These are not so tight compared to some other underlinings of that seven cents wide. Five cents wide. Again, the market's not open right now. So these are no longer accurate. These are yesterday. And we're finished it here. Good opportunities. Just ask yourself again, are you contrarian? Are you bullish? If you're bearish, then are you short already? The other side? Me, I'm bullish.